Hi, this is Eldon Yoder with Yoder Outdoor Furnaces. Uh, just showing you how to remove and replace a G-Series fan motor, or if you'd be removing it to clean it. Let's loosen these four nuts. Rotate, unplug, take it out, and there you go. Okay, so now I have these motors here from various year models here on the table. This is a G4000 fan motor. Um, you have the, there's basically three parts. You have the motor, the mounting plate, and the wheel. Um, the wheel is attached with a, um, a square set screw there that clamps on the flat side of the shaft. This is a quarter inch extension that we welded a handle to. Um, it'll slide right over it. And you can loosen that set screw and slide the wheel off. Then the this one has a, a spacer to keep, keep the heat of the, the exhaust from getting into the mounting plate. Um, and then behind the spacer, I just took this one apart so you can see there's, there's going to be four nuts on the, the studs on the motor that you would remove. And then the mounting plate comes off and you have just a spare motor. Um, these motors I have have the plug already put on them. Um, there are some variations though on older year models. That's the current style. This this style here was from about 2017 to 19. Same concept. This is a G200 fan wheel. Has the same square head set screw. Fan wheel mounted on the shaft. Has a has an insulation board instead of just the hollow spacer. Again, just providing some insulation there, and then the mounting plate same is identical. Um, so that's that. Um, and then this style here is from back in about 2013 and 14, up to about 15. Um, basically the same thing, except there's some fiberglass, like a blanket or a ceramic blanket insulation with a double plate. And it isn't slotted, as you can see on the old ones. Um, the newer style, they're slotted, so you don't have to take the nuts off. This is just a straight through hole, so you do have to, to remove the nut and pull it straight off the studs on the before you mount it there. Uh, one thing also to keep in mind on a lot of the year models, like in, let me show you on this, on in about the 2017 through 19 models had an air vent that came up against the back. This stud here that they would have mounted the capacitor on, uh, that stud will have to be shaved off with a grinder so it doesn't hit the, the vent that comes up against it when you close the back door. Uh, the current models don't fit tight like that, but just something to keep in mind but um, if you have one that's been on for quite a few years and you're trying to pull the wheel uh, like you know if it's cruddy I would soak it with penetrating oil for a while and then loosen the set screw and usually you can tap it off um, but um, usually you'd want to soak it for a bit um, you can also just buy these with as a whole assembly but um, just thought I'd show you how it goes together it's not as difficult as you think uh, if you need to replace a motor. Thanks.